Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with a Between Empires mod. Last time around we saw off the Russian invasion, and since then I've conquered actually quite a bit of Russian territory. However, war has uh, appeared on the horizon on the Western Front again, and I'm looking to take out some French territory, and by that, surrounding what little is left of Belgium. With that said, we're going to actually start off by setting up a peace with the Russians, and I think we have a pretty strong chance of doing that. Wait, I've already done that! Huh. This is like a cooking show. I've already prepared here. So I've actually gone ahead and already... I thought I was going to set up for that. At, at one point, we should go ahead and defeat the alliances of these so that I can get peace. I'm worried that just being at war, even with nations so stupendously far away from me, well, Romania isn't that far away, or Greece, but quite a few of them are quite far away, that is going to cause quite some problems uh, with socialists revolutionaries. We can see what kind of damage they've done in Ru uh, not Russia. Uh, it should be Russia, but in this case it's France. So we can see the socialist movement is up to 27% of the population, where 36 to these crossed weapons, and then there's a small peace movement, while they only hold 8% hold of parliament. Um, so far I can't see that much have changed. I'm hoping that the living standards of my people should improve, but first we need to find peace. But before peace, there will be war. And currently, we are looking at attacking. We're taking back Saarbrücken, which have been in French, French hands far too long. We're going to take Riel, and... Oh, there's not... I thought there were more places, but this one then holds four, town, four towns, and then Saarbrücken holds two. So we only need to take two places here. We're a stone throw away of taking Paris. Paris, of course, being communist at this point. Anyways, before we go ahead and do any of that, I'll show you what I've con conquered on the Eastern Front. So we went on, retook Lodz, Warsaw. Uh, there's where kind of we left off, right? Last episode, we were fighting the Russian army around here. Since then, I've conquered Warsaw, I've conquered Lublin and Bialystok. So we're back to the original conquest. But then we extended it, so I wanted to push out. So I've taken two areas here to make a buffer zone for Königsberg. So the, the Russians can't go in and take that just willy-nilly. At the same time, we made a... Uh, in advance forward here and took this town here. So we kind of one push away from Kiev, but also one push away from Minsk should war with the Russians start up again. The thing though is Russia is so huge. Like, if we go all the way, we can go all the way. We're almost, we're, I think we're in Siberia by now. Uh, Novosibirsk, all the way up here. And then, you know, they've got a lot. I think that the Russians currently, seemingly, are going towards uh, the Middle East. They've taken Tyre, Tehran, Tehran, uh, Tehran, or however you know to pronounce it, and uh, all all the way down here. So they're going through, taking lots of places here. So that's what they're going for. But enough of the Russians. Uh, is there any other... Yeah, the Serbians have made a mas massive push out here. So they've gone from, you know, at one point only having Belgrade to retaking and then pushing out uh, pushing out the Albanians and then taking here and, like, conquering loads of territory uh, all of a sudden. And so that's quite interesting. Constantinople still being held by the Spanish Empire. Uh, we have the Greeks taking uh, this area right here. So isn't this where kind of this area, right, where the ancient city of... What am I looking at? Oh, now I can't even remember the town. Someone's going to comment about it. It's the one with... I was about to say Mel Gibson, but it's Brad Pitt, and he throws a spear, and 
Great, great, yes. Uh, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Crete has been taken by the Greeks. Retaken, maybe. They, uh, that was held by the Ottomans, anyways. I saw a notice of it. Anyways, there's not a lot else to be talking about uh, in terms of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and start by taking Saarbrücken and taking that back from the French as they're dealing with quite a bit of internal struggle. I've been starting building quite a lot of factories all over the place. Steel factories, weapons and ammunition in quite a few places. Um, I don't know exactly, I haven't taken the time to actually figure out what they sort of achieve. Also, I think that I kind of get the idea that for um, what's it called? Surgery skill is not actually that useful in terms of what it does because I think that is actually more so replaced by the uh, the budget. Like it's actually set by your healthcare expense. Um, and that actually translates to how many soldiers live or die in battle. Um, more so than that. What it what is useful though is the sort of first first aid and wound treatment because that will get your companions back in working order, as it were. Anyways, the Belgians have made quite a few pushes in this place. Um, and there's about 268 Belgians actually imprisoned here. One interesting thing was, I went down to kind of check here on my own, and I ran into, very briefly, ran into a Greek army that had, it was it was standard size on the troop, it was like a hundred and something, a hundred and ten or something. They had close to 500 prisoners. So this war party consist, were, consisted for each soldier in the war party, there were five prisoners. That's pretty darn insane. Anyways, let's lay siege this place and prepare to attack the French. I, I think this is the first time we fought the French. Did I fight the French? I don't think I've fought the French at all, right? We've only kind of been fighting against the Russians and the Belgians. I don't think we've gone against anyone else. Um, but who knows? I can't actually remember. Maybe I did, but off camera. Kingdom of Portugal. No, I have no interest in that. It's kind of annoying that they keep going back and forth asking. Quest failed. Oh yeah, I've gone for... I've, I've tried to do a lot of quests here and there, thinking that I could get more experience for myself. Uh, a lot of the quests seems bugged and don't really work. Anyways, let's continue. There we go, we're ready to attack. Let's go ahead and deal with the French. Lead my soldiers in an assault. Let's go ahead and form. Oh yeah, one thing that I also have done is that it's taking it's taking so bloody long to actually get the gas thing going that I've gone ahead and actually added uh, I've sped up the time so that um, it will be likely that we'll actually get somewhere in some kind of good order. Let's advance the troops. They're always kind of pushing all the troops onto that redoubt right there. So that's the one we want to hit. And since this one has a actual uh, field gun in it, I want to move that one forward so that we can fire upon enemy and that looks nice. Why are these red? Oh, they're all shot in the head. What is going on here? I was wondering. Let's go ahead and check on the French, shall we? Ooh, that was a nice, that was a nice hit.
pretty cool French uniforms here. Mixture of light and infantry, and we even got a French lancer in all of it. French machine gunner. Firing away. Getting fi getting quite a lot of return fire, to say the least. Some really great artillery shots were landing there early on along the troops away. I think we need to keep advancing here. And just because currently, of course, this uh, French machine gun is uh, not really getting shot down. So we're definitely going to lose some troops in this, uh, in this advance. But we need to find some new angles to actually get some better hits. That French machine gun operator is actually getting quite a few kills. That 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 cannon position, and they're still able to actually operate it. Uh, how about we can actually get you guys out of that hole? And then just maybe the machine gunners can get out of the trench. We can actually use you guys. Set them up up here. Right, so we have 140 troops ready against 37 of the enemy. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see. First group fired my command. Second group fired my command. Third group fired my command, fourth group, uh, fourth group fired my command, they should, first group seems to still be firing, first group, oh fire a volley, uh, let's see, first, second, third, fourth, I order you to hold fire. Okay, you know what? We'll have to do like this then. I think this might work. There we go. Now we're getting the charge that I wanted. Everyone forward! Over the top! It's aim for a bayonet charge. Over the top, lads! Going through the mist. The water mist, in this case. But look this way, I don't see it. We're closing in. There can't be a lot of them left, can there? There's already loads of our troops overrunning that part of the trench. Might be easier if I have my pistol ready. Oh, they're jumping in, overrunning the place. Have we already cleared it out? Yes, we have. We have, in fact, cleared it out. Everyone's kind of tired, though, as we're trying to advance on the second redoubt. I'm going to order everyone to uh, come to me. And we'll just try to recuperate some of that stamina before we go on the next charge. Our troops are now just about ready. It's time for us to go over the top and charge our foes. Soldiers of the Fatherland, charge! Charge over the top! <laughs> Jesus Christ! The first one to go down is me. Uh, wonderful. Just wonderful. But that means that I get a uh, bird's eye view of our charge. I ran straight into that machine gun fire. Not something that you would want.
this machi French machine gunner can't believe his eyes seeing all these troops coming at him. Although, if I was him, I'd probably be a little bit more liberal with the trigger on that machine gun. And so the trench get overwhelmed by our troops. I was supposed to lead it. Look at the tr the amount of kills that the machine gunner got. With me lying first there. I was about to say um, they don't have another one, but it's a uh, it's a lighter machine gun. <laughs> he got, he just stabbed him and went on to stab the next one as well. And then his friend got that guy, and that gun got double teamed. Alright, the French got destroyed, the only thing that's left is their stupid artillery position. I've got 115 troops ready for the charge. Not everyone's going over the top though, it seems. We'll just uh, re-establish that everyone should be charging. I'll give the order for everyone to move over here. Anyways, there's not much to see here. There's uh, three fring French soldiers holding on and a single battery. I doubt they'll be able to do much damage to us. I forgot to show you the assault, so I just out of I get I I don't know I just moved through. Anyways, we can see that there's a lot of Belgians being in captivity here. I'm gonna take it for myself. And very nice. Did I lose anything? I don't think I did. No, nothing important. Anyways, was lost. Let's go for 2020. So 20 for the infantry. 20 for the Jaegers. Should be nice. Uh, these are infantry experienced and the Jaegers should be under the Jaegers. Very good. So Saarbrücken has fallen. Now we're going for the next one, which is a town. Should put up a little bit more resistance, shouldn't they? So forward we go. It's time to lead our troops in the assault. Let's attack the town. Oh, this place is actually... Uh, wasn't a proper town. How nice. I was thinking I'd get the old kind of siege map. We actually got a proper one. You know what? Since we've got... You know what? I'm gonna do that melee charge again. Just because we've got so many more troops than the defenders, and it's kind of unfair a little bit, isn't it? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, fire my command, but I'm gonna allow. Oh no, what I should do is I should do this. Everyone fire at will, but then group one should be melee, group two. Should be melee, group 3. Should be melee, and group 4 should be melee. God damn it! How am I the only one to get hit all the time? Right. Let's make sure, though, that we charge all charge the same location, right? And not have some run over there. So I'm gonna send everyone. out this position and I'm also gonna pull up the machine guns to kind of hopefully suppress a little bit of the enemy's fire. So the troops moving out all the trenches in force readying for the charge and here we go. Group 3, group 4 and then I'll select Group 
something else and tell them to fire it well. Alright, here we go. Mass melee charge towards the French position. Let's see how this works out. Probably not at all. But who knows. Got lots of fire. They're not shooting down as many as I thought they would be. I thought we would lo be losing a lot more men than we currently are. Guys starting to get tired here. Losing a lot of people right here as they're running straight in to kind of the machine gun fire that's going on. But we've got quite a few actually making it to the point. I'm gonna drag out my pistol. I'm gonna see about pistoleering a few of these guys as we get into the trench. I just got a reinforcement. We've lost that many men at this point. That guy doesn't even have a machine gun. Well, now he does. What a mess is going on in the trench. Oh shit, my troop I'm running out of troops here. And soon I'll be the only target left for the French to shoot at. Wow, I thought I would get a little bit more. What kind of p pose is this? What was I doing? I managed to get one Frenchie before they shot me. So, yeah, the melee charge definitely didn't go well. Should have been reinforced though, right? Not as many troops as I thought I would get. It's kind of low numbers in among the regiments. How many did we... We lost tons. We lost 140. While we were only able to take out 25 enemies. I want you to use ranged weapon from now on. I think it looks like they're shooting now. And they're firing at will. Right. Let's move them up over the top. And uh, let's try not to lose everyone this time around, shall we? Let's lose the let's move the bigger group up first. And the smaller ones up to the side. The machine guns were taken out. The cavalry can just join in to be a little bit of a meat shield. They do, in fact, have one uh, machine gunner in their group. Okay, one group is retreating. Not entirely sure which one. It's one of the larger ones. Oh, now we get a now we get a substantial reinforcement. This is what we're talking about. Now we're probably up to 140 men again. 126. This is what I'm talking about. Now I have loads of troops to expend in another one of my crazy charges. Oh, no wonder. All the artillery firing is going. Are they firing it? Oh, there's a French guy coming close for some reason. It's Rambo! Oh, he was Rambo. What's the, uh... What's the equivalent of Rambo in French? Is there a Ram Is there a French Rambo? Fires the machine gun from the hip. We start gaining a little bit of ground here. There's different groups as we move 
out of the trench to attack the enemy. It, this one looks not to be able to fire, so let's move that one up. And I want to move these cannons up as well. I'm thinking we'll be able to suppress them just by superior firepower now. But we've only really been able to shoot down an extra three men out of the enemy. Four now. I keep losing so many troops. Even now when we're um, actually putting down substantial fire on them. Can you get that cannon out of the trench, can you? Come on, pull it out. There we go. Well, most of our troops are lying down, no surprise. A lot of them are lying down because they're dead. I was about to say that works too, but... It really doesn't, does it? Okay, we've got one group giving, running back. Why are the French so good? What are they doing? Oh, we got another reinforcement. Nice. One of the reinforcements was even a cavalryman. I mean, the statistics of this battle, looking at all, like, troops that have routed or died taking this place. Alright, we are, we are getting somewhere. We're just getting there very slowly. My artillery hasn't really been able to get any good hits. I mean, this cover right here is really good. What I want is if they could get rid of that guy. I'm pretty sure he's he's probably one of the main reasons why I'm losing so many men. So if someone could shoot him, that would be nice. I've got so many men on the line here. Everyone being able to target the enemy. Yet, I'm making... Very, very tiny headways against the enemy. Continuously here gaining ground. We got an entire group here. The lights. Who hasn't even, uh, hasn't even joined the fight. They're really tired because they've been running around like idiots back here. I guess I'll just set you up right here and then we'll wait for you to regain your stamina. A lot of troopers turning to the firing at the right, which I don't necessarily want. There's still 35 enemies left. There's not as many here anymore, which is good, but that machine gun remains. Kind of need to get those lights in there. Get them into the fight just because there's 31 of them. That's almost half of the infantry I have on the field. You should have plenty of strength to run into position. But for some reason you don't. Okay, first group is falling back. Just as the lights joining in the fight. It's actually third group that was falling back. Lights firing not towards the side that I want them to fire at. See if the third group wants to recover. Interesting strategy, charging your troops across snowman's land. Does it work? No. But, uh, 
I, I tried it, so you don't have to. That's what we can say. Oh, I moved you guys too far, so you can't actually fire anymore, can you? I'm gonna move you up here. Can I get a few other machine gunners, right? Can I get maybe... Can we make it maybe get a reinforcement group with machine gunners? That would be nice. Is that mach There's... I've no doubt in my mind that that one machine gunner is still there. I think this is a new machine gunner. Maybe? No, oh, so we got that one, finally. There's still a few guys there. There's 32 enemies left. I've lost 300 men at this point. And... It kind of feels like we're about to get another reinforcement going here. This battle dragged on forever, doesn't it? All the troops kind of tired. That machine gunner is running it to die. That's good. It's going to get shot down by my men. And then we have three here, where which only really one is firing. One has been running from the start. A real track star. And then... We have a few left on the right. So why don't I move? Okay, we just got a reinforcement here. I'm gonna move the two smaller groups to deal with this. And then I'm gonna detach the bigger ones to head over here. And we should really now focus the artillery over on this side instead. So I'm going to bring these guns over to here. And we now focus on that redoubt. While I'm going to have these two groups of 12. Kind of focusing, trying to focus on taking out this location right here. While the larger infantry groups should be moving on this area. Should have enough men to do that, shouldn't I? 29 enemies left. For some reason the French are holding on like... Like devils. There is no way to dislodge these bastards, are there? Can I drag this artillery group so close that we're a point oh that I think that one artillery strike there got rid of whatever group was left there. We're gonna get these two groups and the artillery. To take this position and try and either shoot towards this area or shoot down towards here. So I'm going to set them up in the trench with a cannon on top. And then we're going to continue the advance over here. A larger group will hold. I think, no, I think the lights are the ones that are walking. So they'll be holding, putting down fire upon the enemy, while 3rd Infantry is going to move forward and close the distance here. So at this point I've almost lost 400 men taking this area. While the enemy has lost less than 50. Enemy's artillery is focusing over here. We're able to drag up the guns onto the hill. Very nicely done. See if I can get the lights. Oh, the lights are now... They've got the strength back. They're up and running. I'll get them to get to the exact posi same position as 3rd Infantry. 
As soon as they're there, the third will advance even further. Getting close enough to smell the French. Although, I mean, we could probably do that from spawn. Let's take a look here. Artillery screwed. Why did you run it into a bloody tree? I'm thinking that the field gun should have a pretty good time clearing the enemy's position over there. Well, that, that was my thinking, anyways. If you j just can get a straight arc to fire from. They should have enough. Oh, now they're targeted by the enemy. Can I dig in? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move out these two in front. Just so that they... Uh, the enemy artillery focus on them. Rather than on my cannons. So my cannons can continuously fire on this. And then both of these groups should be lying down. Then we go over to here, where the lights are going to make their second advance. Up to third, while third moves up to this position right here. So it's down to 26 Frenchmen. Still way too many. Let's gain some ground quickly here and get rid of this redoubt, because at this point, it's ridiculous, really. That, that charge messed me up so badly. The lights have nothing to fire at. For some reason. Let's get up to the next. Have third get even closer. Troops over here firing. Soon enough, I'll be ready to attack. Why? It, yeah, I was wondering what the hell is going on here. Why was this? It smokes so much from the French artillery. Or is, I, is, is it just me that have just noticed it right now that it's so smoky? Right, let's claim this shit. Both up to the top. Point blank range. Get him. And now we're clearing it out. Enemy artillery focusing on us. What's going on there? Right, now we're on a roll. It's only the last bit left. There's 18 enemies left, most of which are occupied with fighting or firing cannons. While there's only about two, that's two guys standing in front of us. I'm going to order everyone all the way forward here. All the way. There's only two guys left. I should note there that I do have, like, kill feed or whatever put on. But I guess there's so much information that the game hasn't caught up to all of it yet. The final score of this battle... It's going to be quite depressing. What what happened there? And there. Those shells are bouncing all over the place. I mean, at this range... There's no way we can miss. And now when it's only the artillery left... We finally secured victory. And the French 
are running for the hills. All this. Damn. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, well, not, we're not going to try that one again. That's for sure. Here's the, the stati Here's the statistics. I lost 24 men, 4 killed, 6 wounded, 14 routed. Allied casualties, number 369. 69, ew! Which means 131 killed, 174 wounded, and 64 routed. While the enemy lost 69. Why, why is it always 69? 62 killed, 6 wounded, 1 routed. All Belgians. That, what if I recruited a tons of Belgians and then go attack the Belgians? So I have Belgians killing Belgians. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be something? And so uh, there we have it. We have surrounded little Belgium, which holds one province. We've taken out all of the normal French, and uh, we're stone throw away from taking uh, communist Paris. I'm going to go ahead and see here if we cannot sue for peace with the regular French and uh, see about ending a lot of these wars. Oh, am I at war with the British Empire? When did I, that happen? I did not even notice. I guess that because they're allied with uh, Serbia. Right, I'm going to get war reparations. I don't even know how much... The, let's see how much... So that's 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million, 10 million, 100 million, a billion, 10 billion, 100 billion. Uh, what comes after billion? And even then, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers after which. Anyways, I'm going to sue for peace here. So we are at peace with the French. Is there anyone else I can sue for peace with? Also, I'm guessing at this point this video is dragging on quite a bit. Uh, Serbia is too early, but Greece, we have been... No, Greece and whatever godless country this is. Um, I'm going to have to go down there. I'm going to have to go down. Kick some people around. I guess for the next one, the big thing will be to attack... Belgrade and I'm going to attack all the um, if I can't attack Belgrade the Serbians have actually opened up for me to attack through here because it's it's a sea route that should allow me to attack this area um, so it's kind of stupid of them we're gonna go ahead and push through look at what the Austrians have done they've pushed through and taken lots of territory all of a sudden wait where are the Romanians they have one place left. They completely crushed the Romanians. Why haven't they been able to do the same with bloody Serbia? Still hold this odd place. Poor Italy. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end it right here. For the next one, I will be attacking the Serbians. And trying, trying to, in between, I'm trying to end as many wars as possible. Um, we'll see how that goes, but... Or uh, uh, as many of the wars that don't involve Serbia. So I'll see you then. So, yeah. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.